Chloe Anastasia, and today I'm gonna unbox and share with you the brand new Husqvarna Viking Amber Air S400. This just came on the market like five days ago, so brand new. So I'm super excited to dive into it and test it out and see what it's all about. If y'all love sewing, definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you can see all of my videos when they come out. Now let's open up this serger and check it out. So I've got my paper scissors and I am ready to open up this box. I feel like it's Christmas morning, but three months earlier. So this is so, so exciting to try out this machine, open it up and take a look at it. I don't know about you, but getting a new sewing machine really geeks me out. Okay. Oh. Let's do the side. Let's open it up. Ooh. One more little part. Hi. I kind of love the smell of freshly opened things as well. Do you guys like the smell of freshly opened things? There's that smell of uh, plastic foam paper and something brand new. Okay, so first in here is our user's guide. It's nicely packaged. We can take that out. So it's gonna give you everything you need to know about your serger and all the different stitches it does. And I'm sure you're curious like me, what stitches does it do? We're gonna get into that in a little bit. Your sewing machine is also gonna come with a warranty because it's awesome, that's why. Okay, so next up, Looks like we have a case to cover it. Dust cover, keep it nice and clean. Keep the dust out of it when you're not using it. Ooh, looks like we've got some pockets on it. So that's really nice. You can keep your extra tools in the outside pockets when you're not using your serger. Give that bad boy a little steam later. Okay, looks like next we have, ooh, we have our thread tray. Also says what the machine is, the Amber Air S400. It's gonna catch all your scraps, which is awesome, because I know machines that don't have them, they end up all over the floor. Hiding in that thread tray was our accessory box. So lots of great little accessories in here. We will go through this one by one at the end. Check out what's in here. Next up, it looks like we have our pressure foot. So, Let's take this out of the bag and check it out. Okay, in case you didn't know, it is electronic. Love that, that's super funny. Very 1950s. Okay, the big reveal is here. We're about to take off the foam that's made specially for it and check it out. Ooh, there she is, Amber. Beautiful. Let's pull her out. She's a heavy baby. She's not gonna move on you. There she is. So next, let's plug her in, give her a test ride, and see what she's all about. Okay, so I've got the machine plugged in, got it turned on, pulled out the threads that it came with, but I color corresponded the tension dials here with the thread so that when we thread it, it'll be a little easier to follow. So the first feature I wanna go over is the air threading. So cool. Viking has never done a machine like this before that I know of at least. Um, so I am super excited to try out this feature and thread the loopers in like 10 seconds. First thing I'm gonna do is remove my thread tray here. I like to call it the thread trough. So we're just gonna pop that off towards us. And then we wanna open up the front of our machine. So you're gonna use this little bar here and you're gonna pull it to the right and then down. And that opens up real nice. So you've got some things you haven't seen in a serger before. This right here is gonna be our automatic air threading. The first thread is gonna be the lower looper, which is gonna be the green one. So it's just going to sit up here 
If you feel like your tension isn't tight enough, you can also wrap it into the second hole, but I'm gonna leave it there. We're gonna come down with our thread. We're gonna go in this tension disc back here. Just pull it from right to left and you can see it's in there. Now we're gonna follow the groove in the machine coming down. Make sure it's in your tension disc inside. There's a little guide there. And now we are ready to put it in this hole. But we need to make sure we move our dial to that hole so it knows what to do. We are also gonna move the lever down here to threading. So when it's to the left, it's ready to sew. When it's to the right, we're ready to thread. Next, you're gonna go over to your dial and you're gonna turn it until it clicks. Did you hear that loud click? Now it's not moving and we're ready for air threading. Grab your tweezers out of the kit that came with your sewing machine and let's thread this. Now you're gonna take the tip of your thread, make sure it's cut nice and sharp and I want you to put about an inch of it into this hole on the right and then you can just let it sit in there. And now you wanna take this lever, pull it up, and oh, make sure your thread's out of the way, and push it down. Whoa! And now, that's it, it's done, it's threaded. That threaded so fast, it was like that. I know threading a serger can be really hard sometimes, and that was easy breezy, amazing. Next, we're gonna thread the upper looper, which is red. So we're gonna click it into the guide up here from right to left. We're gonna come down through the tension. We're gonna go in the little guide here at the bottom. And now we're gonna move this lever to the left. We're gonna stick about an inch of thread into that little hole. And let's hit that lever again and thread that upper looper. What? Next, we're gonna thread the right and then the left needle. This machine has a really awesome semi-automatic needle threader on it. You push it to the right to thread the right needle and pull it to the left to thread the left needle. There's also a little lever here on the side that you push down to make the automatic needle threader work. So let's go ahead and thread those needles. Okay, now we're going to do our blue thread, which is our right needle. We're gonna clip it into place. We're gonna go down through the tension disc over to the left and now we make sure it catches right in here it goes around there and now we're going to the right so we want the right little hole there we're going above the needle and now we need to go through the needle so this is where we get to use the automatic needle threader so i'm going to make sure that my needles are up all the way okay i'm going to make sure that my needle threader is clicked over to the right and now I'm gonna pull that lever down and this little hook came through the needle. So there's a little miniature hook inside of that needle. And now what I wanna do is wrap my thread around this piece right here. And then under that little hook that's going through the needle. And now once I have that wrapped properly, I'm going to pull up on the threader and now it's created a little loop in the back that I can pull. So now you've got this little loop behind the needle that you can go ahead and pull with your tweezers or your finger and just pull that straight back through the machine and put it under your foot. That means our right needle is fully threaded and we can go ahead and do the exact same thing to the left needle. Okay, now I'm doing the orange thread, which is the left needle. So we're gonna go through the guide up here down through the tension disc, back over to the left, up around and down. We're gonna guide right here, and then we're also gonna go above the needle, and now we need to go through the needle. So we wanna make sure that our needle threader is pulled to the left, do you hear that little click? And now we can go ahead and push the lever down on the left, and that little hook is going through the eye of the needle and we're going to wrap the thread under the hook. And now that we've got the thread under the hook in here, we can go ahead and pull the lever on the left side up. And now we've got that little loop in the back here that we can go ahead and pull through. Now we've got that little loop through the back of the needle, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that all the way to the back, and then we wanna make that go under the foot. And now we're ready to start sewing. So I'm ready to test it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put my piece of muslin back to where the needles are. Put down my lever, and here we go. 
Look at how beautiful those stitches are coming out. I'm gonna go all the way around the square of fabric. The power on this is amazing. It's running so smooth. There's also a thread cutter here on the side, which I love. That way there's no thread cutter in the back. It's really convenient because you can see it and just go ahead and pull your threads on there. The stitches on this are so beautiful and even and perfect with tension. This machine is really outstanding. I honestly, I'm kind of blown away. So that serger was phenomenal when it was sewing. I am so excited to start using it on some projects this week. If you guys are in my sewing class, get super excited because you get to use them in sewing class this week. The stitches on this machine are so even and smooth. The tension is amazing and it really feeds through like solid. Like when it's going through, there's no like, oh, is it going to go through? It just pulls it through nice and even and solid. I am loving this machine. So this machine also comes with an accessory box, everything that you need for your serger. So here's our box and let's see what came in it. So in our accessory box, we have a large screwdriver. We have a small screwdriver. We also have a double ended wrench here. We have our fabulous pair of tweezers, which we know we are going to use a lot with our serger. We also have a looper threader in case we want to do it old school. We also have some needles. It's going to come with five different needles, which is awesome. And we have an upper cutter. And then if we move over here, we're going to have our spool holders. Awesome, we got four of those. We are also going to have some thread nets. We love these thread nets for those pesky threads that just wanna unravel on you all the time. Lint brush, we know that serger is gonna have a lot of lint in it. This is gonna be very useful. And last but not least, we've got our needle holder and converter pin. So our accessory box has everything you need to get started on your serger. So now I bet you're wondering, what stitches does this serger do? Well, I'm gonna show you. Our first stitch on the machine is going to be the four thread overlock. Second stitch is gonna be the three thread overlock wide and narrow. The third stitch is gonna be the three thread narrow edge. The fourth stitch is gonna be the three thread rolled edge. The fifth stitch is going to be the three thread peacock edge. We also have for our sixth stitch, a three thread flat lock wide and narrow. For our seventh stitch, the three thread stretch over lock. For the eighth stitch, the two thread over edge wide and narrow. For the ninth stitch, the two threaded wrapped over lock wide and narrow. For the 10th stitch, we're going to have the two thread rolled edge. Hello, napkins. For our 11th stitch, we're gonna have the two thread flat lock. This is a really solid group of 11 stitches that this machine comes with. You can do just about any knitwear project you can think of. So my two favorite features on this machine are obviously the automatic air threading, so amazing for the loopers, and I love that semi-automatic needle threading because threading the serger before, you know, wasn't the easiest thing in the world, and now, easiest thing in the world. Loving it. Also, this machine has some solid stitches in it. 11 stitches that sew beautifully, and the tension is phenomenal on this machine. If you're ever worried about tension on a serger, you are not gonna have it with this machine. So, check it out soon. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing and overview of the Amber S400. I am loving this machine. If you're in Chicago and you'd like to take a sewing class with me, you can sign up at SewAnastasia.com. I would also love to make you a custom garment. So reach out to me and tell me what your fashion dreams are. And if you haven't checked out my Patreon lately, hop on over to Patreon and check out all the cool ways you can support Sew Anastasia. And if you're loving these videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you know when all my new videos come out. 
And make sure you check out So Anastasia and Anastasia Chatska on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you know, all those social media channels. I'm on all of them. So check them out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.